Josh here with Ben and Bass Fishing. We are on the Winooski River, uh, launching out of Colchester. And we are going to go for walleye today and smallmouth bass, probably, and maybe some largemouth bass. I'm here with Riley's Custom Bass Baits, uh, John, who's in front of me. And we're going to go up to a couple spots. I've never fished for walleye for, before, or tasted walleye before. I guess it's really good tasting fish. So I'm going to see if I can get some in the live well today and bring some back if they're open season. I haven't even checked yet, but that's what we're fishing for. This is where it's at. I saw a few logs and marked them on the way up, but Must be the professional spot. Oh. <laughs> and you were with a uh, crappy tube? No, no, no. It was, it was a hook with a little white middle thing on it. Oh, yeah. Is that the only one you caught? You caught other ones, small ones. Oh, really? Yeah. I want to go launch in uh, Fairfield Pond, but I don't want to deal with that stupid sandbar thing. Yeah, I was going to move my waders. <laughs> I ought to drop it down. Just saw a truck getting towed out of there last year. Yeah, my buddy went up there. <laughs> yep. I don't know. It's not fighting like a small eye. It's a walleye. Yep. Oh, it's a big walleye. Are they a keeper right now? Get a yardstick. Got lamprey bites. I shouldn't lip it, right? First ever walleye. That's not bad, huh? Yeah, first ever. Yeah, white fluke. Should I keep it or what? I don't want one of the lamprey bite though. Well, I got my camera. Yeah. They're all over the screen right here. Get your camera? Yeah. Or your phone? Yeah. Take a pretty good picture. Even the little fish. <laughs> they are all over the screen right here. Yeah. Yeah, I got them right here too. Oh. <laughs> did, you, did you get one? No, I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always get them. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, it wasn't really a cast. It's kind of just dropped it over. I'm like, I think that's a fish on the screen. <laughs> I'm glad I came. First ever walleye. What are you, put spike it on top? 
No, it's a little jig head with a little. Uh... No, 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 the chartreuse tail. No, it comes with that. No. Oh. You ever heard of spike in? Yeah, I saw it at the. Uh... I use it on my tube. This is like combat fishing. <laughs> Josh here with Ben and Bass Fishing. We are on Mallet's Bay today after work on a Friday with Copper, my little buddy, my little fishing buddy, who hopped in the truck as I was opening the door because he knew we were going fishing. Uh, so I'm gonna throw some tubes today and some bigger swim baits. And I wanna see if I can get some smallies on the rocks over there. We're showing a little ledge, and I'm gonna use my Humminbird Helix 10 for using the side imaging and some of the down imaging. So there's the side imaging. Uh, nothing on it right now, because it's kind of a flat spot. I actually wanna go over to the right a little bit more. There'll be more detail. So I'm throwing a little tube today, pumpkin colored-ish, custom made for me from uh, Riley's Custom Bass Baits. I have a VMC uh, jig, tube jig, eight pound mono, trilane, Abu Garcia Veracity, um, winch series rod, and a Rebo SX bait caster. So I'm seeing bass chase it right in front of me. So they're up on the up on the shore there. So I could feel the bite, but I couldn't get a good hook set. So I'm gonna let that soak there for a second. So my goal is to move this as slow, kind of like a crawfish. So it kind of pops backwards. I can pop it up, and I'm gonna feel the feel the bottom as best as possible. And I should be using like fluorocarbon at the same time, but I'm too cheap for that. Uh, to get more abrasion resistance. And so when you get a tube stuck on the bottom, sometimes it'll, so it'll get stuck like this. It'll kind of bounce on the bottom like that. Just bounce it a few times and it'll pop up and over. Or you can jig it a few times and sometimes a, a, a bass will actually take it off of the surface that it's on. That's the ideal situation. So when you're, when you're stuck, you can bop it a few times and that usually gets it up, just like that. Or you can put the boat past it and that changes the angle of attack of the line and that'll get it up, get it up the bottom. If it's stuck in a log, it's pretty much stuck in a log. So I'm down in Shelburne, where I've caught some smallmouth before. So this island has a little bit of everything. So it has grass on one side, it's got shallow, it's got deep, there's a ledge right next to it. And so I'm fishing a tube that has a little bit of garlic scent to it. it smells great actually. And I'm throwing that down there and uh, kind of bouncing it off the bottom.
finally a fish. I'm using those tubes I was talking about. Stay down. Nice little chunker. Oh. Whew. That is a heavy fish. Oh, look at him. A piece of his tail missing. It just fell off there. Four point three two. So after a long tiring day and uh, only two fish, so one walleye, my first and ever walleye, which is fantastic. Uh, caught jigging a fluke uh, by chance. Uh, third cast of the day, catching a bigger fish than anybody else around me, which is very nice. Uh, there's about 25 boats in that whole area probably all doing the same thing. They're dragging some sort of a, a lead weight and a, crawl, a night crawler or some sort of you know rubber plastic and dragging it, drifting it down the river. Get down to where they think they can stop and then they go back up the river again and they just do that all day long. So that's why I jig because that, that would be pretty pretty boring in my mind. But I guess while I taste good. I threw the one I had back uh, because it had a lamprey bite on it and it's just kind of a a parasitic animal biting another animal. I, I know that it's probably not any thing in between the two, but it's just one of those things and I didn't need the fish and some of those guys probably probably needed the fish. So I threw it back and I kind of dropped it at the same time. So the other one was uh, that small mouth bass I caught um, in a bass condo as I call it. It has rock, grass, a shelf, a shallow area, and like boulders going out deep uh, in a deep area. So that's has everything a bass needs all, all in one spot on this little island. And it's kind of a hot spot. So I'm probably going back there um, sometime later this year where there's fish and more stacked up on it. So if you like what I'm putting out on YouTube, subscribe, pretty please. Do me a big favor and keep following my stuff. I'm gonna have more stuff coming out. I'm trying to post once a week. Uh, twice a week if I can if I can get out after work. Uh, it's kind of tough. I have a couple more tournaments coming up and I have uh, Some boat maintenance stuff that I'll be doing Probably at some point here. Um, I have to do an oil change because I did one in the winter time. So it's time Like my page follow me on Instagram. I'm on national pro staff under Joshua Treadwell Or the NPS app and subscribe on YouTube